A win for Cable Bahamas customers. The Utility Regulation and Communication Authority ruled against the company's breaches of retail pricing rules. The authority found that on June 14th, Cable Bahamas replaced eight television and tennis channels from its Rev TV lineup without giving consumers the required advance notice. A corporate and consumer relations manager at the Utilities Regulatory Communications Authority, Mavis Johnson Colley, says Irka's recent ruling was a result of complaints from consumers. She adds that the regulatory authority has a mandate to ensure that companies like Cable Bahamas adhere and comply to the strictest code of ethics. In June of this year, uh, Cable Bahamas uh, changed their channel lineup, uh, swapping out several, um, uh, changing several channels, and uh, co consumers complained to IRCA, as is their right. They complained to Cable Bahamas, and then in some instances escalated their complaints to IRCA. IRCA, as is mandated under the Communications Act, conducted investigations, inquiries, and as a result of those investigations found the licensee to be in breach of its uh, license. Well, Cable Bahamas must now compensate subscribers with a credit and pay a fine equivalent to 1.25% of the total revenue from the Prime, Prime Extra, and Prime Sports for the month of June. And it has about two months to comply. Now, ZNS News made attempts or several attempts to contact Cable Bahamas for a response on IRCA's ruling. Officials told us that a formal statement on the matter would be issued shortly.